how do you use airline miles and frequent flyer points to travel the world at a fraction of the price? That's one of the questions that I get the most often, and in this series, I'm going to show you the ropes. In fact, thanks to what I'm about to share with you, I've been able to travel to some of my dream destinations around the world while spending very little money out of pocket. South America, Japan, Southeast Asia, Africa, Micronesia, the FIFA World Cup in Russia, Oktoberfest in Germany, New Year's Eve in Paris. And the best part is, I get to fly in business class or first class for less than the price of an economy class ticket. And you know what that means. Caviar, champagne, live flat luxury, private enclosed suites in first class. The good stuff in life. And it's all thanks to frequent flyer miles, credit card points, loyalty programs. These are things that the average person doesn't give much thought to, but I can safely say that they've transformed my life. But enough bragging for myself, I'm here to show you how it's done. I'm Ricky, the founder of Prince of Travel. I help my fellow Canadians and people around the world travel in luxury at a fraction of the price. Let's get started. One thing you should know about me, I love travel. In fact, I've been fortunate to travel since a young age. But there's one inconvenient thing about travel and that's, it costs money. Often lots and lots of money. And for me, there was a long time when I had endless wanderlust, right? I had so much, so many places I wanted to go to, but not enough money to make it happen. Now, I did everything you're supposed to do in that situation. I went on flight deal websites to look for cheap flights all the time. I stayed at hostels for $50 a night just to make my travel budget last longer. And you know, I saw a lot of the world in that way, but it was a bit of a struggle the whole time because I was feeling like I didn't have enough money to do and see everything I wanted to. And as I was working hard and saving up for that next big trip, I couldn't help but think to myself, there's gotta be a better way. And that's when I discovered the art of traveling the world on miles and points. And that changed everything. I mean, think about it. Flights and hotels are probably 50 to 75% of your overall travel budget. Now what if you're able to wipe out a huge chunk of those costs? Your travel budget would instantly take you so much farther. But how is that possible, you ask? Well, let's start from the very beginning. Back in the 1980s, the airlines first realized that loyalty programs were a great way to encourage people to continue spending money with them. The idea was simple. You'd fly with the airline enough times, and then you'd earn enough miles or points for a free flight. So customers would therefore have an incentive to keep spending money with the same airline in pursuit of that freebie at the end. Then at the turn of the century, the airlines realized they could make even more money by partnering with the credit card companies and issuing miles through them. The banks and the credit card companies would pay the airlines for the miles and then they'd issue those miles to their customers as rewards on their daily spending. And as banks tend to do, they'd make huge profits in doing so. But that move would open the door to savvy travelers like ourselves who are able to rack up huge amounts of miles and points in a very short time using these credit cards and then use those miles and points to book steeply discounted flights, hotels, vacations, and thus getting to travel more often, travel cheaper while spending less money out of pocket, and travel better flying in business class or first class. Now, how exactly is that done? Well, when you break it down, the game is played in a very simple way. There's two steps, earning points and redeeming points. When you think about earning points, you might think about swiping your loyalty card at the grocery store or using a points earning credit card on all your daily purchases. But in reality, that's the slow and ineffective way to do this. I mean, think about it. A credit card like this earns one mile for every dollar that you spend on it. Now, if you wanted to fly from North America to Europe, that would cost you 60,000 miles, and that's an economy class. 
Now, how long do you think it would take you to spend the $60,000 on this card to earn those 60,000 miles? Probably a long time. So what's the better way to rack up a huge amount of points in a very short time? Well, if you look around you, you'll see credit card companies offering huge bonuses just for opening the card. Here in Canada, American Express has bonus offers of 40,000 points, 60,000 points, even 75,000 points just for opening the card. With so many juicy offers floating around, you can easily rack up hundreds of thousands of miles in a very short time and then use those miles to book your dream vacation. Now at this point, you would be forgiven for thinking, opening and closing credit cards, doesn't that ruin your credit score? And yes, that's a common misconception. There is a lot of nuance to how to play this game without having adverse effects on your credit score, and we'll delve into all those details in future videos. For now though, remember that earning points cheaply, quickly, and effectively through credit card sign-up bonuses, that's the name of the game. Now the flip side is that once you've earned the points, it's time to redeem them for travel at what's known as a high value or a good value. And what does that mean? Well, it means redeeming your points for stuff that's otherwise super expensive. Stuff that otherwise you might not be able to afford. Take the case of a business class flight from North America to Asia. Those usually cost about $4,000, $5,000, sometimes even more. Whereas economy class can be had for around $1,000. So that means business class is about four times or five times as expensive as economy. And unless you're rolling in the dough, you would probably choose to pay for economy for that reason. Now compare the two costs if you're redeeming miles. Depending on the program, economy class tickets to Asia usually cost about 75,000 miles. Whereas business class can be had for 150,000 miles round trip. So that means business class is only two times as expensive as economy when you're redeeming miles. And that means you're getting a great value when redeeming miles for business class because you're getting something that you otherwise would not be able to afford if you were paying cash. First class is even more compelling. First class tickets often cost $10,000 or even $20,000. There's no way the average person would ever pay that kind of money for a 12 hour flight. But if you use miles, you can get it done for as little as 70,000 miles in certain programs which you could earn with just a few credit card sign-up bonuses. You know, apply for a few credit cards and you get a first-class flight to Asia. Why wouldn't you put in the little bit of legwork that's required, earn those miles, and then redeem those miles for an incredible, luxurious flight across the Pacific with caviar, fine dining, and $300 a bottle of champagne? You get the idea. Basically, the fundamental principle of traveling the world on points is to earn points as cheaply as possible and then redeem them for as high value as possible for your travels and make your dreams come true. It's kind of like real estate with the age old saying, buy low, sell high. You're acquiring points for the low, low price of a few credit card fees and you're exchanging them for the very high price of business class travel, first class travel and fancy hotel stays and thereby you're capturing the value that lies in between. Now, I should warn you about a few things. Number one, you do need to be very financially responsible to do this right. Credit card debt is a huge problem, and if you're gonna be tempted to spend beyond your means by having so many credit cards open, then that's not a good look, and this is not a good path for you to go down. You've gotta pay all your bills on time and avoid paying any interest or unnecessary fees. That's how you earn the big rewards and come out ahead and play this game successfully. Secondly, there is a bit of legwork that's required to do this properly. You've got to put in the time and effort to understand which programs you should be focusing on, which points you should be earning, and how to actually go about turning those points into flights, hotels, and vacations. But I speak from experience when I say that the rewards you earn, the fancy flights, the dream trips, they're well worth it compared to the time and effort you put in and the money that you get to save. So if you like travel or you like saving money or you just like the challenge of figuring something out, then this stuff is right up your alley. Lastly, keep in mind that there's no such thing as free travel. You know, some people who talk about this stuff might be like, fly business class for free, fly first class for free, but it's never free. 
you know, you've always got to pay a hundred bucks here and there in airport taxes and fees. You've got to pay the annual fees on your credit cards, so it's never free. But while it isn't free travel, it is heavily discounted travel, subsidized by the airlines and the credit card companies. So while the idea isn't to obtain free travel, it's to make your travel budget go so much further because you don't have to pay full price for your flights and hotels anymore. Okay, so today's video is about laying out the basic foundations of this game we play, and I think we've done a pretty good job at that. In future videos, we'll delve into the nitty gritty details that you need to understand how all of this works and start booking your first trip on points. How to manage your credit score, how to rack up the points with credit cards, which points you should be earning, how you turn those points into trips, the juicy stuff. If you learned something from this video, make sure you're subscribed to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button under the video. Now I want to turn it over to you. What's your experience with this stuff? Are you a newbie who's eager to learn the ropes and book your first trip on points? Or have you taken many amazing trips around the world in business class and first class and you're here to sharpen your skills? Share your stories with me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. But in reality, that's the slow and ineffective way